Welcome again everyone. Today I will continue the second part of vaccination. In this session, I will talk about vaccine handling, immune response and the EPI schedule, the target disease and also their vaccines. To start from vaccine handling, most vaccines are designed for optimal storage between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Varicella containing vaccines are stored in minus 50 to minus 15 degrees Celsius also called freezer vaccine. Vaccines like MMR, human papilloma virus, need to be protected from light exposure for more than 30 minutes. The other is about the issue of cold chain. Cold chain is a system of storing and transporting vaccine as the recommended temperature from the point of manufacture to the point of use. Uh, when we see the immune response, Live attenuated vaccines stimulate both humoral and the cell mediated immunity. In contrast, the immune response to an inactivated vaccine is mostly humoral immunity. In general, the first dose primes the immune response but does not produce protective immunity. The immune response to an activated antigen is less affected by circulating antibodies than that of live agents. Assessment of the immune response to most vaccines is performed by measuring serum antibodies. Use of detectable antibody over time does not necessarily mean susceptible to disease, and serum antibodies might be detected as soon as 7 to 10 days after injection of antigen. IgM and the IgG are the antibody responses seen after vaccination. Immunologic response to vaccine depends on type and the dose of antigen, effect of adjuvant, Host factor related to the age, pre-existing antibody, nutritional status of the person, concurrent disease, and the genetics of the host. Invalid dose and the indication to repeat after vaccination include if age-appropriate dose not injected, administration of expired vaccine, reconstitution with the wrong diluent, and if vaccine is administered subcutaneous rather than IM, and administration of injectable live virus less than 28 days after another injectable live virus. For inactivated vaccine, it should be repeated as soon as possible. For live vaccine, after 28 days, if it is invalid dose or after administration of vaccine. When we see doses that can be counted as valid, include vaccine supposed to be given subcutaneous, if it is given an IM or if it is administered IM, infant regurgitated, spits, vomits after oral rotavirus vaccine, and vaccine administered is greater than the age appropriate dose. The other lesson that I will discuss now is about expanded program of immunization. According to 2013 WHO and the UNICEF estimates, 22% or around 4.3 million unvaccinated children globally are located in foreign countries, and our country is one of it. In Ethiopia, different findings showed that the proportion of full immunization coverage in the country ranged from 36.6% in Somali region to 100% in Addis Ababa. EPI launched by WHO in 1974 and Ethiopia launched in 1980 with six antigen. When we see the current EPI in Ethiopia and their target disease and their vaccines for children, currently diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, hemophilus influenza type B, tuberculosis, pneumococcal, rota, polio, hepatitis B, measles, and the human papilloma virus are given for children. To start from diphtheria, diphtheria is given in combination with diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, and also hemophilus influenza type B and hepatitis B in the form of pentavalent vaccine. And this must be stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius without being frozen. And it is administered as 0.5 ml doses given intramuscularly in the left anterolateral thigh infants. Mild events are more common such as local injection site reactions, such as redness, swellness, and uh, tenderness. Uh, when we see the uh, recommended programs, it is given at 6 weeks, 10 weeks, and 14 weeks of age for infants. And three doses can produce 90% protection, and the booster dose is given at 18 months to 6 years of age, but it's not provided currently in Ethiopia. Contraindications for giving uh, diphtheria vaccine include an aphylactic reaction to previous dose or to any constituent. The other is pertussis. Pertussis is given in combination with DPT, hepatitis B, and hemophilus influenza type B in the form of pentavalent vaccine, as I have said above. And it is stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius without being frozen. 
and it's administered as 0.5 ml doses given IM in the left and lateral time of antis. And it is also given at 6, 10, and 14 weeks, and no booster doses are available in our country. Anaphylactic reaction to previous dose or to any constituent is a contraindication to administer. And adverse events include hypotonic, hyporesponsive episodes, febrile seizures, and prolonged crying. But this is a rare episode and it's focus one in a million. The other is tetanus. This is also given combination as a pentavalent vaccine and it is also available as a tetanus and a diphtheria toxoid, tetanus toxoid for adolescents. And it must be stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius without being frozen and given as 0.5 ml doses intramuscularly in the left anterolateral tiny infant. All penta vaccines are given at 6, 10, and 14 weeks. Two doses of tetanus and diphtheria booster at school age, and five doses of TT for women child bearing age. And serious events include anaphylaxis, brachial neurites, and the Guillain Barre syndrome, which is a rare event. Mild events include injection site pain, fever, redness, and swelling. The other is Hemophilus influenza type B. It is a conjugate capsular polysaccharide bound to a carrier protein, and it's given in combination with diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, hemophilus influenza, and hepatitis B, as in the form of pentavalent vaccine. And it's also stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius without being frozen. And all penta vaccines are given at 6, 10, and 14 weeks. It is also administered on left anterolateral thigh. And the mild events include injection site pain, redness or swelling, and the fever. And anaphylactic reaction to previous dose or to any constituent is a, con a contraindication to administer. The other is hepatitis B. This is a recombinant DNA or plasma derived vaccine. And it's given in combination with uh, other vaccines in the form of pentavalent vaccine currently in our country. And monovalent vaccines are given at birth for pregnant mother and also adults at as, as high risk. And they must be stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius without being frozen. And the schedule is at 6, 10, and 14 weeks for infants. And if given during neonatal life as a monovalent, don't count it as a first dose. This is also administered at left and trilateral tiny infants and the deltoid in adult with a dose of 0.5 ml. And the contraindication is anaphylactic reaction to previous dose or to any constituent. Severe events are anaphylaxis and the mild events include injection site pain, redness, and fever. The other is tuberculosis. Vaccination before 12 months of age decreases severe form of disease in under 5 children. And it is given to the right outer deltoid intradermal with a dose of 0.05 ml. And it's effective in preventing TB from 0 to 80 percent, and no booster dose is there. The contraindication for administering tuberculosis vaccine or BCG vaccine in, is in symptomatic HIV or other immune deficiency. This is supplied in freeze dried form, and it's stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and do not freeze. And the serious event following BCG immunization include generalized infection, swelling, abscess, and swollen glands. Mild events include injection site reaction and the other is pneumococcal vaccine. PCV10 is used in EPS children in Ethiopia states and both PCV10 and SRT are freeze sensitive and they are registered by IM injection in the right anterior lateral thigh with a dose of 0.5 ml and it is also given at 6, 10 and 14 weeks for infants. Contraindication to give pneumococcal vaccine include anaphylactic reaction to previous dose or to any component of the vaccine. And the mild reactions are injection side reaction and the fever which is more common. The other is Rota vaccine. This is licensed in 1998 and it's available in liquid form as 1.5 ml in an oral applicator or a squeezable tube. It is stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius without being frozen. And the program is at 6 and 10 weeks of age, only two doses. And rotavirus vaccines not for infants with history of interception. So we don't give a rota vaccine if a child has history of interception before. The contraindication to give rota vaccine is when they receive an allergic reaction to previous dose. 
and mild reaction include irritability, nasopharyngitis, otitis media, diarrhea, and vomiting. And the serious event, which is rare, include appearance of intussefine after giving rotavirus vaccine. Uh, this should be postponed if there is acute gastroenteritis and also if there is fever with moderate to severe illness. Other component of EPR schedule in Ethiopia include poliomyelitis vaccine. Global polio eradication is defined as complete interruption of both wide and the vaccine derived polio virus transmission is avoided. And the strategies for eradication of poliomyelitis include high routine immunization coverage, supplementary doses of polio vaccine or MOPAP immunization, and the national immunization day and the surveillance for acute flaccid paralysis. After OPV0 at birth, the three OPV doses are given at 6, 10, and 14 weeks. And the IPV dose should be given at 14 weeks and they can be given at the same time as an OPV3. IPV is given at or on right anterolateral mid thigh in infantis with a dose of 0.5 ml intramuscularly. And serious event after vaccination include vaccine associated paralytic polio since it is a live attenuated vaccine. And the contraindication is anaphylactic reaction to previous dose. And also, we should have to postpone vaccine if the child has moderate to severe illness with temperature greater than 39 degrees Celsius. The other is measles vaccine. Measles containing vaccine must be stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and it is sensitive to both heat and light. The schedule is at 9 months and currently there is also another schedule at 15 months. So there is two doses of vaccine for measles in Ethiopia those days. The dose is 0.5 ml subcutaneous on left upper arm. Uh, Serious event after measles vaccine include thrombocytopenia, anaphylaxis, and encephalitis, which is rare. And the mild event can occur after uh, 5 to 12 days with appearance of rash and also fever might appear. Contraindications of giving measles vaccine include known allergy to vaccine components, pregnancy, and the severe congenital or acquired immune disorder since it is a live attenuated vaccine also. The other vaccine is human papillomavirus vaccine, and it's a recombinant protein capsid and it is stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and we should not freeze it. And it is recommended for girls between 9 to 13 years. And the schedule is uh, both vaccines require two doses given over at least a six months period and with a dose of 0.5 ml IM on deltoid muscle of upper arm. And there is no booster dose. Contraindications of giving human papilloma viruses if there is anaphylaxis or hypersensitivity after a previous dose. And you should have to also postpone if there is pregnancy. And adolescents should be seated during injection and for 15 minutes afterwards, since they may sometimes faint. This is overall uh, routine immunization for children and uh, women of child bearing age. So at birth, BCG and OPV0 is given for newborn. And at six weeks, OPV1, Penta1, Pneumococcal1, Rotavirus Vaccine1. And at 10 weeks, OPV2, Penta2, Pneumococcal Vaccine2, and Rotavirus Vaccine2. And at 14 weeks, OPV3, Penta Variant3, Pneumococcal Vaccine3, and IPV. And at 9 months, measles 1. And at 15 months, second dose of measles. And at 14 years of age, Human Papilloma Virus 1, followed by Human Papilloma Virus Vaccine2 after 6 months. And also, sometimes intermittently, vitamin A is given during vaccination. Uh, for women of the childbearing age, at first contact, TD1, at one month after the first dose, TD2, at six months after the second dose, TD3, and one year after the third dose, TD4, and one year after the fourth dose, TD5. So, this is all about what I have. Thank you for your attention.